In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. Amen. The Spirit. And brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have been my thoughts and my words, my life and my my fault, through my fault, through my most dangerous fault. Therefore, I ask blessed be you, the Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord of our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins and bring us one day to everlasting life. Amen. Today's Mass Intentions is for a special intention for the Cormac and Dylan families. We celebrate the conversion of St. Paul the Apostle. Let us pray. O God, who told the whole world through the preaching
preaching of the blessed apostle Paul draw us, we pray, nearer to you through the example of him whose conversion we celebrate today and so make us witness to your truth in the world. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Reading from the Acts of the Apostles, Paul addressed the people in these words, I am a Jew born in Tarsus in Cilicia, but brought up in this city. At the feet of Gamaliel, I was educated strictly in our ancestral law and was zealous for God, just as all of you are today. I persecuted this way to death, binding both men and women, and delivering them to prison. Even the high priest and the whole council of elders can testify on my behalf. For from them I even received letters to the brothers and set out for Damascus to bring back to Jerusalem in chains for punishment those there as well. On that journey, as I drew near to Damascus, about noon, a great light from the sky suddenly shone around me. I fell to the ground and heard a voice saying to me, So, so, why are you persecuting me? I replied, Who are you, sir? And he said to me, I am Jesus the Nazarene, whom you are persecuting. My companions saw the light, but did not hear the voice of the one who spoke to me. I asked, What shall I do, sir? The Lord answered me, Get up and go into Damascus, and there you will be told about everything appointed for you to do. Since I could see nothing because of the brightness of the light, I was led by hand by my companions and entered Damascus. A certain Ananias, a devout observer of the law, and highly spoken of by all the Jews who lived there, came to me and stood there and said, So, my brother, regain your sight. And at that very moment, I regained my sight and saw him. Then he said, The God of our ancestors designated you to know his will, to see the righteous one, and to hear the sound of his voice, for you will be his witness before all to what, to what you have seen and heard. Now why delay? Get up and have yourself baptized and your sins washed away, calling upon his name. The word of the Lord. Amen. The responsorial psalm, go out to all the world and tell the good news. Praise the Lord, all you nations. Glorify Him, all you peoples. Bow to all the world and tell the good news. For steadfast is His kindness toward us, and the fidelity of the Lord endures forever. Go out to all the world and tell the good news.
The Lord be with him. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Jesus appeared to the eleven and said to them, Go into the whole world and proclaim the gospel to every creature. Whoever believes and is baptized will be saved. Whoever does not believe will be condemned. These signs will accompany those who believe. In my name they will drive out demons, they will speak new languages, they will pick up serpents with their heads, and if they drink any deadly thing, it will not harm them. They will lay hands on the sick, and they will recover. The Gospel of the Lord. Today is the feast of the conversion of St. Paul. And if we reflect on his experience on the road of Damascus, Paul wrote to the church of Corinth and saying that he is the least of the apostles and unfit to be called an apostle because he persecuted the church of God. And then Paul will say, but by the grace of God, I am what I am. And his grace towards me has not been in vain. So Paul was very aware that the transformation of his life from persecutor of the church to be an apostle to the pagans was not fruit of his own efforts. It was fundamentally God's doing it in him. It was fundamentally God working through Jesus in Paul. Working powerfully in his life as we heard all the story in the call of his conversion today. So Paul's experience reminds us that the Lord can work powerfully also in our lives and that the Lord can often surprise us in unexpected ways when we open and we allow ourselves to be filled with the grace of Jesus in our lives. Then we'll see or we'll be able to have the same experience from Paul, knowing how God can continue to work in us through the grace of Jesus. So is that kind of transforming presence that St. Paul experienced? Even when we are at least deserving of it or when least expecting it, God will work through us by the grace of Jesus. So all is speaking about God's power working in us, working in St. Paul, accomplishing, abandoning far more than what we can ask or imagine. It's something that St. Paul also mentioned in one of his letters. It's God's power at work within us. And is able to accomplish abundantly far more than all we can ask or imagine. So that realization gives us hope. <laughs> the same realization that gave hope to St. Paul as we celebrate his conversion today. In the struggles that seems to overwhelm us, we can trust ourselves to the power of the Lord's grace at work in our lives. So that is the ultimate good. And that is the ultimate good that we are looking for. Amen. And trust ourselves to the power of the Lord's grace at work in our lives. As Paul was able to experience it when he heard 
Jesus called when he opened himself to whatever God was able to do in his life. Please rise and let us present our needs and intentions to the Father. For all of us who gather here in faith and hope, let us pray to the Lord. For my family members, <clears throat> friends, for people we know that cannot be present here today as well, let us pray to the Lord. We pray for physical, spiritual, and emotional healing and those who suffer in body, mind, and soul. Let us pray to the Lord. For today's mass intention, for a special intention for the Cormac and Dune families, let us pray to the Lord. Let us all pray that we will always be open to let God work in our lives. Let us pray to the Lord. For those who are suffering because of the cold weather, for those who are lacking of shelter, employment, or food, let us pray to the Lord. Let us pray for peace in the world and peace in our city. We pray to the Lord. For the intentions, the prayers, and the needs that we are bringing today in this Eucharist. these prayers that we make in the name of Jesus the Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Filled of the earth, the work of human beings, it will be God our Israel, the bread of life. Yes. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Filled of the wine and work of human beings, it will be God our spiritual drink. Yes. Pray, brothers and sisters, that this sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty God. As we celebrate the divine mysteries, O oh Lord, we pray, may the Spirit fill us with, with that light of faith, with which He constantly enlightened the blessed Apostle Paul for the spreading of your glory through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Amen. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Amen. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty, and eternal God, through Jesus Christ our Lord. For you have made your church to stand firm and apostolic foundations, to be a lasting sign of your holiness on earth, and offer all humanity your heavenly teaching. Therefore, now and for all ages unending, with all the hosts of angels, we sing to you with all our hearts, crying out as we are Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, O Son and the hearts. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, O Son and the Christ. 
You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. May holy therefore these gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for me, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Let us proclaim Jesus the mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of blessing, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. How will we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Jesus, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit? Remember, Lord, your people, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, Blaise our Bishop, and all your people. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Joseph and his spouse, with the blessed apostles, St. Padre Pio of Pietrocina, St. Paul, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him and with Him and in Him. O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray together as Jesus taught us. Our Father, Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy. We may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Lord Jesus, who said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you, my peace, I give you, look not on our sins, but on the faith of your people, and graciously grant each one of them peace and unity in accordance with your will, who lives and reigns forever and ever. May the peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Plan of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Plan of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Let us take away the sins of the world. 
Behold Jesus, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Let us pray. May the sacrament we have received, O Lord our God, sit up in us that fire of charity, with which the blessed Apostle Paul bore upon ardently as he bore his concern for all the churches through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with you. May God, who has granted you, to stand firm and apostolic foundations, graciously bless you through the glorious merits of the Apostle St. Paul. Amen. Amen. And may he who endowed you with the teaching and example of the Apostles make you under protection witnesses to the truth before all. Amen. 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 So that through the intercession of St. Paul of, and, in, and of the Apostles, you may carry the eternal homeland for by the tradition you possess firmness of faith. Amen. 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 And may the blessing of the Almighty God, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you and your family forever. Amen. Amen. Amen.
the Lord be with you. Y con tu espíritu. The Master said, go in peace. Amen. Gracias, Lord.